Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Quitter. Woohoo! Yeah! Woohoo! Alright, guys, today we're going to be doing a little bit of greenhouse work. Um, as you can see, we've got our greenhouse built here in our main base. Um, we need to do some plumbing in it. Um, and I get that's the most common question I get right now is how do you plumb a base, basically? Alright, so. What we're going to do is we're going to be running off of an intake um, instead of reservoirs. So you can see we've got a river right down here. Um, we've got a little bit of plumbing down below us, but we're going to make it nice and pretty and do like a rainfall uh, rainfall plumbing system. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the middle of our greenhouse. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's nine wide. Okay, so we know we got to go five in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. So this is our middle one. Ooh, right here. All right, so what we want to do is the first thing you want to do is you want to place a pipe on the very bottom of your floor. So the bottom of your floor, as long as your greenhouse is too tall. This is a big catch. You have to have a greenhouse that's too tall. Uh, so you can hear this construction going on above me. And what you want to do is you want to line this pipe up perfectly with the wall. Um, and right on this line, you see how this line's like made right here? So you can see the edge of the pipe right there. And um, we're going to line it up perfectly right here on this wall. Come on, there we go. We'll scoot it forward just a smidgen. Emma, because we want right against the wall. That's what we want. Oh, oh, a little too far. A little too far. And got it. All right, so we have to throw this pipe down. Right, this is just basically our lining pipe right here. That's all this is, guys. This is not a, a special pipe that's going to be doing a million things. This is just our lining pipe. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to place... A little fun pipe because we're just going to run the pipe pretty much straight down this back wall actually um, not on the inside of this um, but we're going to go ahead place the pipe here right I, actually I'm sorry I apologize we need to place the straight pipe out you can see I'm placing it out here um, reason being is I'm gonna have to run it straight down um, so that it goes out to the water and I need a pipe straight up okay so it's just one straight pipe straight up right so we've got a lined up pipe this one can go away now this is this was just our lining pipe um, we're gonna go one pipe straight up and now we have our system started. Um, so now it's perfectly level, it's perfectly with everything, and all we need to do now is go ahead and start placing our cross sections for our standard piping. So what we're going to do is we're going to do, I do one cross aired and one straight every time. One cross aired, one straight, um, unless you run into this. This is a problem. So if you see you're going to run into the edge, guess what you do? You throw another cross aired in there. Right? It doesn't need to be 100% perfect, guys. Um, it, it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical um, unless you're a little OCD. Um, then go ahead and make it perfectly symmetrical. I don't think we hit the middle. I might have screwed that one up a little bit. Um, but we're going to go ahead and keep running this one. So there we go. There's our basic piping system. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to run it across um, so we can pipe the opposite side. So we'll take a straight pipe. There we go. And then we stick a little intersection on each one of these ones right here. So there we go. There's another one. Straight pipe. Intersection. And then we'll go right here. Oh, I won. Straight pipe. Intersection. We got James over there working on it. Hi, James. Hi, James. Let's give him a wave. Let's give him a wave. See if he, see if he recognizes this. We're doing it. I know he's in his inventory, so we'll wait for him to jump out. Hi, James. Hello. Uh, hopefully he saw us. I think he saw us. Right, and then we'll throw the last one right there. And there you go. So now blocking our exit and everything. So now we've got this thing perfectly plumbed how we want it on the outside. All right, so now we've got to place our taps. You can do these in however manner you want. I like to make them look a little bit nice and pretty. Try to keep them as uniform as possible. So I place them right in the roof right here. There's one. Let's get another one up there. Where's my other intersection? There you go. You can place them on joints too, and then I place them on the opposite side also. Um, what I'm ensuring here, and if you turn it around, there you go, you can get the face the way you want it to. So now I'm ensuring that this little section right here is watered. Um, and as long as you keep it pretty, pretty standard, it will cover the whole thing. So then what we'll do is we'll place down all of our crop plots and we'll ensure they're all irrigated. Everything will be fantastically amazing. So we'll just keep running these things right like this. Um, and there we go, there's another one. We'll put this one right there. Put that one right there. Come on, come on, there we go, there we go. And then we'll get to one here. Excellent, no, 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 I want you. There we go. Gotta get it facing the right way, right? All right, so now, because we have a little goofy spot right here, um, as you can see, we're gonna have, a, we got a perfect plumbing except for this one spot right here. Um, it's possible we're going to have a slight problem in this back corner. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one pipe a little bit off. 
Um, this is just to ensure that this section right here is plumbed. So then he's gonna place all these ceilings in here. Um, and what we'll do is that's gonna be it. So now, um, no, that's not gonna be it. Um, now we gotta run our bottom section, but um, we're gonna go ahead and get some uh, crop plots planted in here so you guys can kind of see um, what we're talking about. Um, so we'll see you once we got those crop plots in inventory and ready to go. Um, we'll see you guys here in a minute. Hello and welcome back everyone. All right, so we were uh, inside this little building. We have a little greenhouse. Um, we were finishing up the piping on the outside. So let's go ahead and get that finished. So we just got to drop a couple vertical pipes down here. Um, we're on our Quetzal, just doing this really nice and easy. Um, we'll drop those two pipes down and we'll jump down into the water and get the rest of this completed. So let's just go ahead and pull forward. We'll land that baby right there. We'll jump off, turn around. All right, here we go. So now what we gotta do is we gotta get a irrigation pipe in there. Best thing you can do is have one incline with you, drop it down like that, and then you've got your one intake, and it goes right there. And voila, now we have water running up to our greenhouse. So let's go ahead, grab our plots, because you'll see it coming down here in a second, and we're gonna run through our little a little building right here. Um, we're gonna catch some frame rate issues. Got a little bit on Xbox when you catch those frame rate issues. We'll turn around and run up here real quick. And this is our greenhouse. All right, so as you guys can see now, we have water, yay, water, woo, -woo, -woo. yeah. All right, so now to show you guys what the plan was the whole time. So I've got some large crop pots. I like to place a couple big plant species X in here. Um, reason I like to place some plant species X is just in case someone were to break into our house. It's, you know, we have a little bit of a last line of resort. A um, couple plant species, never hurt anyone. Um, and it just gives us kind of something, something simple to keep up with. And you can see there, as I placed it, it is irrigated. So let's go ahead and check the other side. Make sure it's still there also. Um, as you can see, I made a bunch of crop plots just so we could throw them down. Um, just to confirm that everything's A-OK. -okay. So we'll throw another one down right there. And it should say irrigated. Excellent. And this is really going to be our test right here. Um, so now we're going to run a couple of our crop plots right here across the back side. Um, confirm that they're all nice and irrigated. And these are uh, medium crop plots. So the only thing that needs a large crop plot is plant species. After that, all you need is medium and smalls. I like to do me you do mediums for your premium vegetables. That would be long grass, saber root, uh, rock carrots. And I'm missing the last one. Oh, my brain. Oh, my brain, help me. Uh, citronella. There we go. Ooh. So all you need is I like to just do eight. Um, all you need is eight medium crop plots. Um, so let's go ahead and get this one placed nicely. Oh! Oh, James, you're killing me, bud. You're killing me. Oh, buddy. Oh, he's killing me. Oh, he just threw me off. Oh, man, that was terrible. All right, so let's go ahead and get these on the side then, I guess. Um, we'll just look at him, give him dirty looks. He'll, he'll understand. All right, so there we go. I'll we'll place this medium crop plot right here. It's irrigated, as you guys can see. So that's one, two... Three. And you just walk back in a straight line and make them nice and pretty. Four. Four. Oh, ooh, there it is. Oh, we got it. Five. It's all about a little bit of a perfectionism. Perfectionism is not even the right word, really, I don't think. Okay, this is being difficult this time. There we go. i work it. Finesse it in there a little bit. There's six. We have enough room for our last two. I think we do. Seven. And look at that. There's eight. So we've got our eight medium crop plots. Um, these will go perfectly for our uh, prime veggies that we talked about. And then all we need is all of our little small ones. Um, I don't think James knows that that's not going to work down there. Um, even though it's irrigated, I, oh, actually it will work. Uh, it doesn't have a greenhouse effect though. Um, we got 300% on everything else. As you can see, the greenhouse effect is perfect. Um, but because this one has a zero, is because it's only got this one window and it's covered by this glass ceiling. Um, that's why I do uh, metal window frames and then glass windows in there. Um, is because it works that way. So if you come over here and you see this one, it's got 300% because it still has the glass ceiling over it. Um, but that one under there is not going to get 300%. Um, as you can see, I think James just figured that out um, because of this this little platform right here. Um, this is the reason why you can't get 300% on this one. Um, so what he's going to do, he's going to throw some stuff down. I hope he doesn't throw any more medium plots down, but we'll figure it out. All right, we'll see you guys. Um, that's been Plumbing Basics. Um, if you guys have any more questions, uh, please let me know in the comment box. Make sure you guys subscribe or like. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day.